Welcome back to Barbara's Den. And I just want to talk about, I just got finished listening to Mary Jane. And on this topic of Nene Leakes, inappropriate relationship with a close male friend. Now, I first heard about this topic on um, Tasha K a bit back. And Tasha K basically generalized what Mary Jane just generalized. But she made it more, I guess, informatively entertaining without accusing Nene of doing anything inappropriate. It's just a topic we could call you. Okay. Do it. She, when she does hers, she's alleging that you did it. You did what she is um, strategically um, putting together to entertain you. Well, after everything Mary Jane said, I finished listening to the whole thing. And my thing is this. First of all, she even, how she, she used what Kenya said in Candy, I'll speak on it, to say, some of these hoes aren't faithful in their marriage, but no matter what, she'll always be faithful to Mark. Now on the show, Kenya said, her and Mark is separated. You and you two, her and Mark is separated. He meet, um, so he probably is out there dating people, whatever. But she could always be faithful to a man that she separated from. Is out dating other people and she knows it. Okay. If she like it, I love it. But and then she used that poem in there to say, well, me to say, well, uh, is that what Kenya was talking about? that she's an inappropriate relationship with this man because of this article that was written May 25th. And she says, why is it this topic keep coming up? It keeps coming up because Nene is the hot topic. Nene is what's selling. Lies, innuendos, straight up BS is selling about Nene. When well, Nene do, she can take all of that energy and be on top. Because, and I know she know it, because right now she's mute, and I think she should be mute, because her being mute is proving a point. I don't got to do nothing. I don't got to say nothing. These people keep talking because they need that money. And that's what's going on. Let me see how many, see how many views she got on this um, already. She got 100, no, she got 1.7 thousand views already on this, just talking about this subject. So this, so the lies, the window in you, the falsities, the straight up outright, gotta be a complete overkill, slow person to not know. That the shit that Yovana say is straight up blah, straight up BS. And, and Nene should not come out and respond to that BS on Yovana. Did on the um, show Sunday night. She shouldn't. Just put your receipts out there. They're using social media to make their money off of this. Nene, Nene is, Nene is what sell. Nene is selling. These people don't want to admit it, but Nene is, Nene name is what sells. Nene name it's up there with Trump name. Trump is on every tower. I mean, not tower. Trump name is on all of these um, hotels you sp spend fifteen, two thousand dollars a night to stay in, to sleep in. And Trump don't own these towers. He don't. Towers, not towers. Hotels, resorts. 
Trump don't own neither one of these things. Trump get a check or a license check to have his name on these buildings so these people can make that money and get these stars like candy spending that money at at these resorts and hotels. So Nene name is go. And I want this Nene notice. She can license her name. Make everybody want to use her name in a lie. Straight up BS and making money anyway. And I see, yeah, and um, I forgot which one of them said this, that um, that thought came and went, but it'll come back. But anyway, Candy should, um, yeah, because as soon as I say Candy, keep coming back. Well, Candy, um, this person said, I forgot who said it, but I don't know. But one of these um, content creators said that um, it comes and goes because I'm trying to word it right. Um, said that, um, geez, come on now, come on now. You keep coming and slipping away. Coming and slipping away. Because it got everything to do with candy. Well, let me say this part, and then and, and then that part that keeps slipping away will come back because it's the person whose name I can't remember. That's why it keeps slipping. I can't remember the person's name. But anyway, Candy. Candy Lawyers. Not Candy Lawyers. Candy put up this um, how to get a spinoff and use Nene as the leading introductory teaser into it. And think of DJ Richard. I think what DJ Richard said that. And Nene sent her lawyers to Candy. Why if you don't if, if, if you don't need me to make your money, why are you using my likeness in your videos to get the clicks and the views? Nene name is sales. Nene should take her name. And use her name the way Trump used his name. Which in, his name is so great after he became president. But it's what, it's what his name did before the president thing is what I'm talking about. So. Uh, it keep on slipping. So. Nene had her lawyers come in. And had Candy. Take the video down. Told Candy take down the video. So Candy, so what did Candy do? She took down the video, removed the introductory teaser of of Nene. Um, to start talking about her. It's crazy how people keep saying Nene says spin off, spin off. Nene says show. She says, see what they see. One thing I learned. And being on this your YouTube and listen to all these people. Words matter. Key words matter. And the key word Nene used was shows over and over and over and over outside of Bravo. Candy ain't had no show outside of Bravo. Now this show she talking about talking about she getting now might be outside of Bravo. But I sincerely doubt it's going to be outside of Bravo. Because the only show I know outside of Bravo, after Bravo, every season, is Kim Zosiak. And Kim Zosiak and Nene became friends on that cocktail when they shut their um, Instagram down with over 16,000 on live, which hadn't happened before. And Nene started that. Shut it down, shut it down. So, I'm coming back to that point with Candy because the person is trying to know it keeps sleeping with me, but, but what is going to be said? So, it's, so the key word Nene used was show. The key words everybody is using is spinoff. Because as long as we keep using that word spinoff, you keep it in people's mind that Nene was talking about Candy when she straight up called Candy. Ken, I'm not talking about you. 
I don't care if you ain't talking about me or not, but I'm going to spin it as you is because I got to get these coins off this your fake beef. So, anyway. I think Candy just should have had work with Nene when they had their big bro. I'm going to go F you up in this beef. I think she should have worked with Nene then. And they could have come together, but Candy selfishly did not want it. She just got on that show watching everything, and then she going to surpass Nene because... I think Nene net worth at that time was like five thousand, seven thousand somewhere at that particular time. So I understand. I understand how they got there. I understand what Candy. I understand what Candy problem. It had nothing to do with nothing Nene said because if somebody tell Candy something about somebody, cause somebody out straight up lied, pump like lied on Portia and say Portia went over there and started a fight with Dennis, three times size Portia. Ex-girlfriend and Candy ran with it and made it her storyline. You need an angle management. You need an angle management. You boot press this woman. You went up in this woman face. Yeah, this woman is in the, this woman is in Portia. New new fiance ear. And she probably knew who the woman was. And she went over there and do and so, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Portia could do what we expect her to do. Portia didn't do it. So they threw Lauren out. Maybe that'll get her to popping. Lauren comes in. It threw me out. Well, what? I don't know. Tell Portia you got to get out because you don't start a fight with this woman. Portia calls Candy. Candy, they throw me out of the party. What you calling me for? For Candy, I didn't do anything. Candy, they throw me out of the party. I don't want to hear you. You think you did you didn't come in Okay. Throw Portia out. Portia goes to the hospital. Because it was stressful on her already second trimester body. She ain't trying to lose her baby. Candy find that out, she let it go. She, I don't blame Portia. She better, not, she better not never be friends with Candy because Candy ain't no friend. Candy ain't no friend. Candy doing what she need to do to get her coins. And she's good at it. So, it works for her. But this your thing she's spending with Nene, it gonna work for her to a point. But it's not going to work with her all the way to the end. Because Nene, Nene figuring this out. Everybody's saying Lisa Bloom is a joke, she this, she that. But Lisa Bloom, Lisa Bloom, Lisa Bloom been around the entertainment world for a long time. She been around these people for a long time. They may not be the likes of Nene she been around. She been around, she know what she doing. And all she do... All Nene do is go to her for like this, y'all, um, this counseling and get an idea of what to do. And then she come back and do it. And I believe at least the room get her the counseling. Everybody's spinning off of your name. So just sit back and let them lie. Spin it until there's a straight up lie that can damage your um brain, which is what they're doing anyway. But it's damaging your brain to the extent of what Vivica Fox did. So, Nene did not, she did, as Michelle said, she did not respond to Vivica Fox. She had her friends, her friends of 20 years, come out and vouch for her. The friends can, they say, don't exist. The friends can, they say, it's fake. Fake friends. How in the world you have some fake friends? How in the world you have fake friends for 20 years? 15 years, 17 years, since they were 9 years old. How do those kind of friends get fake? Candy got a lot of friends in the industry. Like Rashida, like uh, Demetrius, or like, like Tiny, like. And I think Tiny just tolerates Candy. Because the stuff that Candy does, Candy want to... Candy won't escape, E-S-C-A-P-E, not E-X, not X-S, but E-S. People trying to get it confused, but you know, I never get it confused. Well, escape, 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 no, Candy was never escape. I believe T.I. came up with escape, not escape. Escape was them. I think T.I. came up with the escape because of Candy. She don't want nothing to do with it, but they want to go out there and do this on the show thing that was very successful for them. And Candy, well, I'm gonna be a part of it. How you gonna get me out? Because you, because 
you wanted to stay escape. And they got that X up there. I don't I, I don't blame T I. Escape is T I idea. And he giving it the um thing. Only reason Tiny is sitting back watching Candy. And she don't want to lose Candy as a friend. T I don't care. Cause T I can take T I can take that and spend it and make his wife or they don't want T I to make I'm Tiny B. Cause they don't think he love her cause he cheat all the time. Tiny ain't stupid. Anyway, I agree with I agree with T I on that. On that part there. Back to Nene. Nene need to trademark the name. Nene leased the way Donald Trump train trademarked the name Trump. On every hotel resort. People pay him to have their name on it. Now, Nene Nene, this is what I see with Nene name. Nene leaks. To have my name even any of your talks, you got to pay me. Just like you got to pay to be on YouTube. I think to pay for YouTube to play your music on there. Licensed by YouTube. I don't know. And I don't say that licensed by YouTube thing because my son, my two sons wrote music that they put together in my house. And I posted it years later. And this company say, it's, it's, um, it's them. I look it up. I'm like, who the hell is this? My son got a little keyboard and create these beats in his music. I know that for a fact because I was there when it happened. So they say, well, they're not doing, they're not going to copyright me. I, they'll just um, get the word of my day. It's no. I would not put my son's music on there and... You get uh, monetization off it, and my and, and my and, and y'all ain't trying to monitor. Well, I can get monetized, but y'all doing this your thing to keep down my subscriber count. I'm small, but I know that I know it. But why am I complaining and fighting? If I'm making the money like a lot of people, then I will have something to say. I will have an issue with it. Then I figure that out then too. But anyway, back to Nene leasing her name and likes like, like Trump Towers, Trump Hotels, the Trump Tower. So, Nene's smart. I'm gonna get back to what they, about what they say. Why they say um, instead of Nene sending um Lisa Bloom to Candy, having Candy Candy take that um take that video down with her likes in it. With the like of her in it. They think Nene should have, um, yeah, Michelle, finally. It wasn't Nene, Michelle. Michelle say she should have just, um, give it a, what's it, Michelle? I'm with Michelle. But anyway, give it a copyright strike or, or, or something like that. One thing I know about Nene. She don't know how to do no copyright. And why should she give Candy a copyright? Why? She don't have to give Candy no copyright. Because I got a copyright right now because of a NeNe Leaks video I did that showed me a timestamp where I copyrighted that. But I think that's a bunch of BS because if this timestamp is where I copyright, I should be able, so many days should be left for me to go in there, see what the copyright strike is, and give me opportunity to remove it. I don't have an opportunity to even remove the copyright strike because I think that video had over a thousand views on it. On that Virgo video and they take it down, copyright strike. I ain't going to get past that. I'm not going to get past that because that copyright is still there. I think the copyright should be removed and my video put back up. Because so I can go in there. And edit that out. I haven't figured out how to edit yet. But what I would do is put it on private until I get the tools and the understanding of how to literally edit. Because my understanding is you got to buy this particular software 
and I can't buy no software if I have not figured out. If once I figure out how to use the edit on YouTube, because when I do the edit on there, it don't do, it don't go nowhere. So I'm not going to buy software to do some edit. And the YouTube edit, I can't do that simple edit because when I, which I know how to do it. But it goes nowhere, so I don't got time for it. So, I don't think Nene should have um, flag can the video, give it a copyright. I don't think she should do that. That's what she got Lisa Bloom for. Cease and desist. Send the lawyers. Take it down. And the fact that Nene took it down, I mean, that Candy took it down shows me that Candy realized Nene ain't to play with now. You can't play with Nene all kind of way. Cause Nene, I told these people, when Nene hired Lisa Bloom, when they first came, go I can they first came, when they were saying Nene got Lisa Bloom for Kenya and, Ken, and Kenya and Kenya and Cynthia, there's no way. Nene will hire a billionaire white woman lawyer, well known for no Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia. That makes absolutely no sense. And that silly evil running, horny, staring, nigga, she's scared. Girl, Nene will not send Lisa Bloom at you. Because you have no money. I said back then, I say I think, it might be got something to do with Kenya. I said, but I think she sent Lisa Bloom at, at, at Andy and maybe Kenya. Because what, because I see the alliance between Andy and Kenya. Now, Nene is a, not Nene. Kenya is of irrelevance now to this. So I say, as, as it evolves, I say, okay, it's can it's it's um, this thing cuts off at thirty minutes. It's um, Andy and Bravo. And this lady on there, she says, oh, she don't think Nene, if Nene suing Bravo, she don't think she should go do that, cause you don't sue the hand the, the bite the, the feed you or whatever, bite the hand the feed you or whatever. I don't think Nene is biting a hand that feeds her when she got this old lawyer for Andy and Bravo. Because I don't think she's suing them. I think what she's doing, got that lawyer there to counsel her on what they're doing because they're taking her money away. This woman is a um, millionaire in her right now. Famous old David Trump almost before president. And... They're trying to take that money for it. They don't want Nene to become this your billionaire. Because Donald Trump set Nene up with a billionaire of his friend. Nene can become a billionaire. And that's what Candy and Kenyon all got a problem with. And that's what Andy fighting with. That's what Bravo fighting with. And y'all say, why Kenya said truly? Kenya letting y'all know. It's no longer true entertainment. Because when I watch it Sunday, I watch when it went off. <clears throat> Truly production, T-R-U-L-Y. Kenya was giving you some information. Nene is suing Bravo and Truly. But I don't think she's suing them. Kenya know what she's talking about because Kenya is in Andy's pocket, would you believe it or not? But this thing had moved from Kenya and Andy, like I said in, like I said at the beginning when she first got Lisa Bloom. She has moved from, Kenya's irrelevant now. She moved from Andy and Truly production. That's where she moved to several more minutes before it cut off. Um, but I don't think she's suing them. I think Lisa Bloom, not Lisa Bloom, I think Lisa Vanderpump is what Nene got the problem with. Because remember, Lisa Vanderpump took Nene's idea and she said it wasn't a good idea and then she went and did it. I, and Nene just bought a bar. I got a picture. Nene just dropped, bought a bar. Because now she's about to have her show. That's it. She's basically Nene is gonna have a black version of Lisa Vanderpump. That's what this show Lisa Bloom is all about. Remember, I said it here first. Candy, it's down here with the YouTube. It's down here where all the stars have fallen to down here with us. And Nene is one of those stars up there. Go build there with Lisa Vanderpump. That's what she bought her own bar. And I'm gonna tell you what I think her bar is gonna be named. Lisa Vanderpump a bar is Lisa Vanderpump rules. I think Nene Bar is gonna be called because she's gonna move that cocktails and conversation 
that, that that's going so popping well on YouTube. And her, she got that song that's pop well with it. going to be her theme. And she going to have a bar with workers like Lisa Vanderpump. And, and, and it would be crazy. She going to have workers. And I know it could probably be more black worker like Lisa Vanderpump got one little dark skinned girl in there. And she probably dark skinned because the camera make her dark. But well, she definitely black in there with all these young pale body workers. And and it works as cute. I like watching it. But they crazy. With the craziness, I can't. Worse than our real of Atlanta. But she got a good show. Nina is going to have a bar. And it's going to be called Cocktails and Conversations. Everybody gets to come to Nene's Bar Cocktails and Conversations. This is, what I, this is where I see this is going. And people might say, how do you know that? How do you know that? The same way I knew the man with the shoe, the bar balls, did what he did and where he is. I told everybody back then when he pulled that boy out of, out of college where he was going and where it is. Everything I said is what happened. Same thing with Nene. Nene Leaks. Towers, cocktails and conversation. Why they down here with all this your craziness? I think Nene's on mute because her plan coming together. That's why she told Andy, put respect on my name. And Andy put respect on that name. He didn't let her come back to defend herself against that line behind your vana. But I promise you, if Yona come back as Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 13, top snitch. Um, piggybacking off of Nene Lee's name. I promise you, Bravo gonna pay Nene. They didn't, they pay uh, Fedra a few thousand to take them licks that they did to Candy. Cause they could, Candy that, that, that wasn't supposed to go that wrong, but Candy took it there. You gonna have to pay Nene. For her name to be a part of all of that. And then everybody can know it's a bold fit lie, but it's just entertainment. But you gotta pay me a hundred million dollars for my name to be attached to that ratchet crap that that Andy is turning Real Housewives of Atlanta into. I mean now watch it after Nene Lee. The cast part. They didn't want to give Nene an executive part to it, but I promise you. You will have to use my name because Nene name is not Atlanta. They, like it's, they said, they might do whatever, but they can't. But Nene name is not how I was up Atlanta. Okay, I got three more minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and end this video. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.